Hello everybody and welcome to the third episode of PES Association Football Podcast. I am Kevin, one of your community managers, and joining me as usual is Nacho. Hey! Yes, uh, we're back. It's been two weeks since our last one and yeah. um, all manner of crazy things have happened in the game as, as normal. Yeah. How was your season, Nacho? My season was quite alright, I believe. Um, I didn't win anything, but... I ended up placing fourth or third. I don't know. I th- I think third because I'm still in the Konami Cup. Mm. So it was quite alright. I lost some good players, but then I signed some good players. So how was yours? Um, hmm. Bit of a mixed bag. Uh, spent most of the season sort of languishing in mid table in the league. Didn't really get off to a good start at all, and it was it was strange because nothing. I mean, it's one of these ones where it shows if you don't change with other people. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a good example if you don't change other people then prepare to get left behind if you don't involve your team so yeah. uh, it was this season just gone was the one where it was like ah so it's time to start looking at changing lots of things around mm-hmm. uh, because as I say mid-table that uh, was where I ended up I was still in the Konami Cup this for this season just gone and did a lot better got to the semis where I met the devious in <laughs> in who are the um, fawn in my and that choice side. Yeah. And is a Konami team. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I got beaten in a very, very close semi-final, actually. It was, it was very tight indeed. Um, you beat me just reason. before those semi-finals, I think. Yeah. You know, I've got, in terms of me versus you, I've got the upper hand at the moment. But, yeah, you definitely but do. But not in, not in terms of the general league for this season now, actually, because I think you're well ahead of me. And again, I'm, no. and again, I'm, I'm ninth currently as we're recording this. I'm 17th. So, so, wow, what's yeah, happened there? It's going really bad. I don't know why. I know. My, my team is quite all right, actually, but I don't know. I guess everyone else just has, like, amazing teams now. Yeah, I've had to, I've had to change a lot of... Things around, and then my average, I think my average rate is about eighty six now, um, which is a lot less than it has been in previous seasons, where it's been about eighty eight, eighty nine ish. Oh yeah. Uh, no, not eighty nine. Can't possibly be eighty nine. I've not had any ninety players ever. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's. I didn't. Quite, I don't quite understand why it didn't go so well either. Really. Um, it must be ev- a everyone. It must be. <laughs> Well, actually, but that's the thing. We had a big comeback at the end of last season yeah. after being languishing in the middle of nowhere, and I ended up about fifth, so I'm in PES Cup this season, mm-hmm. which I hope to do a lot better in. Um, I don't know. As I, um, Today, I believe I have my second leg against Legend Killer. Legend Killer. Legend Killer. It's Randy Orton in football, for, in football form. <laughs> um, it, when I, beat, I beat him in the first leg 5-4. So clearly both sides are offensive and um, there's opportunities for both sides. So they've got four away goals. Yeah. Have... I was at home. So that's not good. <laughs> no. Yeah. Plus there's the home away Yeah. Because I guess because we were, we found that out a little while ago that uh, you perform worse away. Slightly. Just, just slightly. Which makes sense. Which yeah. It's more of a football thing. So just one of those one of those factors. So mm, I'm nervous about. It. But it's my first time in the PES Cup, so I'm hoping to do well. You know what I did in my, in my first time PES Cup? No, oh, put give it a rest. <laughs> did you win by any chance, Nacho? I did. I did. Mm. Uh, well, just as well I wasn't in that cup game. Clearly. <laughs> okay. So uh, one of the things that we had uh, during the last season was Hackers Part Two. The uh, sequel, yes. the return, yes, yes, yes. in 3D, <laughs> IMAX. So after all the, f- the players with um, hacked players were uh, dealt with and all of their stats were reduced to 10, mm-hmm. uh, it turns out people were still cheating. and using. Well, the... people weren't cheating anymore. But they, they had were... games that they, they had. They hacked the game and they still had the results mm. for it. Yeah, so we went back and, and looked at that and hunted these people down, mm-hmm. and we found them. Yeah. Cowering under rocks. How many did we find again? Uh, 200 and something, I think. Yeah, it, 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 was, it wasn't anywhere near the level of the actual uh, the players 
which was around, which was well over a thousand, if mm. not two. Lots of people who did the player hack. The coins hack not so much. Anyway, again, so we, we, we stepped in and all their coins got reduced to ten. <laughs> they, we left them sub, We left them enough in their wallet to actually get a bus home. Yeah, in, exactly. in essence, from from their ground and, and <laughs> contemplate a resignation letter to their chairman in the morning. But uh, yes, and of course, uh, of course, the the loop for that and the exploit for that went disappeared, so they couldn't get anything back either. Yeah. Which, considering when it was, when it happened as well, must have proven very difficult if they had any contract renewals still. Exactly. But we lost a lot of players. Probably how, for a lot of many, gold players. Yeah, how many players did you lose at the end of last season? Because <sighs> I, I lost, I had about nine contract renewals. It was, it was daft, and I, I lost about sort of five players or so. I think I renewed about uh, three contracts, and I think I ended up buying... Two or three new players. This this season is better though. This mm. season I only have to renew like three contracts. I think. I don't think I. I'm not sure I even need to renew any contracts this season, which would be good, frankly, because yeah. I've got no coins. <laughs> I've got none at all, and I've 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 got none at all. None of my players have boots. Some I'm, some of mine have boots, but not all of them. I'm I'm going through tour as much as I can, getting. Playing specific nodes as and when I have the energy to to get as many coins as I can, and then I'm just as soon as I'm getting them, I'm spending them on the pair of boots and then giving them to players in priority order for like the key yeah. players first. And okay, this guy seems to score a lot, so I will give I will give him boots next, and I probably need help with the goalkeeper, so he'll get boots after that. And <laughs> exactly, um, that's what I'm doing at the moment. I, actually, ideally, I really need to give. Uh, money to my central midfielder, which I'm actually going to get onto in a little bit, uh, ah, as, yeah. as an example. Yeah. But we needed a new tour as well. Do you remember how last time we told you it was going to be Germany? Well, guess what? It wasn't. <laughs> um, it turns out that uh, Germany's still being worked on, and we're going to have Germany down the line, but um, some aspects need to be got a hold of. Yeah, I think we obviously. still need the formations, right? Yeah, formations there needs to be formations for that um, and, and some other, as I say, some other aspects as well. However, we did still we already had the Italian stuff, so uh, we put out an Italian tour and it's it's more a sort of holding tour for you, so you've got something to go through this, yeah. through this season because, 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 because June 17th oh, everything's changing and we'll get onto that in a sec. Yeah. Lots to talk about here. Pages. <laughs> Pages of it. So. Right. Uh, we also asked you a couple of questions throughout the last couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Just a little discussion ones to get you to get you uh, involved and um, asking, you know, well, from a historical point of view, what, what your favourite players were. And, and also... Um, now we're at the end of the season, of course. Which is the end of the European season. Everything's all wrapped up. I think, I think everything is wrapped up now. We had, I think the last day might have been Friday, because the last day of the Liga was Friday, and yeah, the, I th- the I think German that, Cup yeah. was Friday. I think those were the last ones, yeah. So, yeah, the European football season is at a close. It's just PES now. It's just us. Yeah. We are football. <laughs> Moving forward. Um, so, the defining moment of the season... I think the general consensus was the German renaissance of football and yeah. the putting to the sword of Real and Barca. That seems to be the general consensus on, on Facebook anyway. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think a lot of people are actually kind of relieved that Real and Barca actually had their reign coming to an end. Mm. At least that's the general feeling that I got. It, it tended to be a sense of inevitability, I think, for a lot of the season that it was going to be those two in the final. Yeah. And it, it, it almost seemed that when they were going through and they were, you know, didn't have, no one had any problems, it was like, well, well okay then. Well, it, it almost lost a little bit of its magic, the Champions League, because it was like, okay, so we were expecting, yeah. we were expecting the El, El Clasico just, just in a different state. In stadium, Wembley. <laughs> And that wasn't the case. It was a nice surprise, and yeah. there was a, there was there was a lot of great stories actually in in that. And it was a really good match too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Iron Robin, wasn't it? Who, who finally 
finally did something. Yeah. He finally got finally got his uh, his his great honor. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, he is a great player, but mm. most of the big tournaments and matches that he has to play, he doesn't seem to perform really well. I mean, he's always a class to be reckoned with. But. Yeah. There was also the the very weird moment actually, just after the um, Europa League final, and. You had Torres just after the final when London FC won. And he, uh, he at that moment in time, was the, he was ac- actively the Champions League winner, the Europa Cup winner, the, um, World, the, Cup. U- the U- World Cup winner, and the European Championships winner yeah. at the same time. Yeah, that was Which was amazing. just mad, yeah. if you think about it. There's n- surely that's just no other player in history has ever done that. Mm-hmm. Incredible, incredible. Uh, we did have a... We did ask, as I said, about the historical players. But listen, we, just, we said to you guys, what, what, t- what players would you like to see in, in the game? If you could... Any period of history whatsoever, it was just for fun. Uh, what players you would like to see? And we had a good, uh, good response from all manner of... Uh, people and locations and, and various various players. I'll run down some of them here. Um, lots of people said Zidane. Yeah. Lots of people said Zidane. Tadas Yogaitis said Oliver Kahn, one of the great goalkeepers oh, of, yeah. of the modern era. Uh, Lee Ji Yong said Kenny Dalglish, King Kenny. Marad, lots of them from Maradona and Johan Cruyff, Muller. Uh, Victor Chan said Roberto Baggio. Oh, Roberto Baggio. Roberto Baggio. Uh, Yoyo Aria said Rui Costa, who um, was was a fantastic. I hope uh, Rui Costa in his prime, as a, as a well, as a young player specifically. Has, has he retired already? Uh, no, I don't know. Rui Costa still about, but as, as far as I'm aware, but uh, he's he's not the player he was. Well, no, the player That's he true. was. Um, Andrew Peng said uh, Franz Beckenbauer. There's quite a few for, for Beckenbauer, actually. So uh, the German his, legend, his legend lives on. Uh, Francesco Rigetti said Maldini. Adrian Skridrapetic said Platini. Uh, Miguel Damas said Victor Damas from Sporting. Um, Which was fa- his uncle. He was his uncle. Yeah. yeah. Quite cool. I have him in the team. Yeah, fantastic. Say hello to us, to him for us. <laughs> and then Matthew Lai said Emil Heskey. Heskey? Yeah. Isn't he still around? He is still around. <laughs> um, of all the players in history, picking Emil Heskey, I don't think he is, uh, was one to be expected. I mean, as as great a powerful forward as Heskey was, and he is a bit underrated for that. I, I wouldn't class him as one of the greatest of all no. time. No. Um, in fairness, I wouldn't even class him as one of the greatest in this time. His prime, his prime either, um, or in the last twenty years, or ten, or five, <laughs> or now. I recall a lot of players. <laughs> Saying Pele as well, right? Lots of Pele, again, lots of Pele. But yeah, so, so a fantastic selection of, of all nations as well. Mm-hmm. It was really good. I recall summer when, when we started out with PES Association Football that someone actually posted like a photoshopped image with like a, a, tra- a transfer list. Yes, with, with I like remember this. Classic players. And uh, there was Cantona in there and, and, and others. And well, Ronaldo, 90, Ronaldo was in there in 99. That was pretty Maradona cool. Maradona was in there too. It, w- it was pretty well done as well. Yeah, it was really nice. It was like, oh, wouldn't that be awesome if we had like legend players? But then it's like, then it's, um, I mean, we've been asked this before. It's like, why don't you do that? And it's like, we'd love to. We'd absolutely love to. But then you have to go into the fact that players are covered by the individual licenses of the, of the teams because the teams own the contracts. Mm-hmm. Now, if you then have people who don't play for teams anymore, you have to do individual contracts for everybody and then it all gets, yeah. all gets to be a bit of a mess. Speaking of licenses, uh, we do have an instance where 
we don't have instances where we don't have licenses for for teams in in yeah. the game, yeah. as is necessary. I know people said, well, but this this team is this team's name is in PES twenty thirteen. Yeah, but the license uh, for that particular type of game is different for a manager game. So there's actually two different t- mm-hmm. f- types of licensing here. Yep. So sometimes it, f- it follows over and sometimes it doesn't. So, uh, And the Premiership is a specific case in, in points for this. Yeah. And uh, we have been asked, well, who's, or who are the various teams? Now, this becomes rather difficult because you then have to describe how the, what the teams are and... We can't say the team's names in the podcast either, so to explain to you what the teams are is kind of tricky. However, we'll go through this list anyway, so you know. Okay, so these are all the Premiership sides and, and, their, and their names, okay. Uh, Man Red. Yeah. Should be obvious. Should be obvious. Should be obvious. North London. If you look at the team logo... There's a sort of cannon or gun on yes. it. Uh, London FC, who we've already mentioned, um, are a team who play in blue and uh, operate around the Kensington area of London. <laughs> Merseyside Red, again, should really be obvious. East London uh, are a team who will be operating out of the London uh, Olympic Stadium as a football club. Tyneside... Um, if you're in the UK, that should be obvious to you because there is an area of the country called Tyne and Weir, which is Tyneside and Weirside, and uh, that would be the black and white striped team from that particular region. I love how you're explaining this. Thank, thank you. <laughs> um, the West Midlands Village are a team that reside in Birmingham but are not called that and play in claret and blue. That's that's, that's your clue. Um, Man Blue, again obvious, as is Merseyside Blue. West London White are a team that are owned by the boss of Harrods. Yes, true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, North East London um, are the rivals of North London. And play in white. <laughs> so, so this is the best we can do, okay, for you guys. Um, Soton is the shortened name of the actual South club that play in red and white stripes. So that, that, that so- Soton is actually a name that is used for them, so that's fine. Norfolk City um, uh, reside in the East Anglia area of the UK, playing yellow and green, and have the celebrity chef Delia Smith as their chairman slash owner of sheesh is chairman still I don't know Berkshire Blues they are um, from again sort of the south region blue and white hoops um, the process of get their name their real name sounds like the process of getting information from a book <laughs> what you would do to get that and they have a good festival yes they do have a good festival um, the Potteries is the official nickname of uh, this uh, this uh, next side. Weirside is the uh, fierce rivals of Tyneside. West Midland Stripes. Um, I'll give you a clue. It has uh, the initial WBA for that, team, for that team. Lancashire Athletic are the only Premiership team who had Athletic in their name. Uh, North West London are a side that got relegated. They're more be- they're better known for their abbreviation, this side, and they got relegated. And again, they play in blue and white. It wasn't a good season for the teams in blue and white, actually. And uh, Swirkle is a Welsh side who operate in the Premier-, the Premier League, which kind of narrows it down a bit, and they're also associated with Swans. <laughs> yeah. Their the, 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 the mascot is very notorious. So there we go. So if you can try and if you can imagine all of those and figure out which one's which, good luck. <laughs> but that's the level we have to go to because we can't actually say the teams. So so uh, if you have a name like uh, Chelsea Star Nine, and we can say Chelsea Star Nine because that's your actual name. However, if you're if you're referring to that by a football team, 
natural football team, then we would not be able to say it. We'd, no. we'd, we'd have to refer to London FC. Yeah. So I hope that clears that up, and it probably doesn't. <laughs> right. Uh, moving on to red and yellow cards. Uh, we've had a few messages about there being more red and yellow cards in the game. We had more mm. than a few messages. Yeah. Nothing's changed. No. Nothing's changed the red and yellow cards. So, as before, I mentioned this in the last podcast, it's to do with pressure. Yeah. On on the sides, and the, I mentioned earlier about my about my midfield, give my midfielder boots, because I use Benfica, the I've only got one cent- actual midfielder, so a lot of pressure from midfield is actually exerted on this player. Mm-hmm. So more often than not, um, he gets booked or sent off. Uh, the player that gets suspended the most is that player. Yeah. But one of the things we got confirmed today was because of the way that the pressure. Because there is direct pressure um, more on defenders and defensive midfielders in general, because you've got the high-powered attack normally, yeah. those players tend to get booked or sent off more because they are under the most pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yes, so it, it is something to do with tactics. Uh, I know some people don't want us to mention tactics anymore. Well, yeah. it's kind of an essential part of the game, and that is the re- that is part of the yeah. reason why that is happening. So I'm afraid that's an answer you will just have to accept, as opposed to going, no, please don't tell me that, tell me something else. It's not a good enough answer. Well, that's the answer, so <laughs> I'm afraid you'll just have to, have to work on that. Um, so yeah, if there's anything you can, if there's players or positions that seem to be getting affected more often, then Maybe you need to do something about that. If you haven't yeah. got a pair of boots on that player, give them a pair of boots. Yeah, anything to, to strengthen them really, because mm. it, it kind of depends on the opposing team's mm. op- opponent player, basically. Mm. You know, if the, if that yeah. player's coming up for renewal, maybe see if you can get somebody else that's stronger. If it's yeah. if it's causing that much of a, that much of a problem. But if he's under twenty three, then definitely renew yeah. him. Yeah, exactly. Um, a couple of uh, a couple of bugs appeared in the game. Uh, although more bugs disappeared, you would please yep. to know, guys, over the last uh, couple of couple of weeks. Tutorial is essentially done dusted. Tutorial bug. There's a, there's a couple of people who have like a very strange individual cases, which are being looked at by the team and and are being dealt with on a case by case basis. Uh, there's the ratings bug. Yeah, it's a strange one. Which is something to do with the the, the the rate, the overall rating of the team not actually matching with the av- yeah. the, a- the the average of the eleven players. Yeah, we think it might be because of the fact that the team rating is not taking into account the improved rating of certain players. Mm. We're not quite sure of that. We've asked the developers, but we haven't responded. Uh, we, we, we haven't gotten an answer. Yeah, we, have, on we haven't yet. got an answer just yet. But um, it's, it's something that's being looked into. Yeah. It, ultimately, it's not a critical thing. No, because all, all it is is just a number on the top of the screen. Yeah, and we've, um, we've mentioned this time and time again that team rating says nothing other than the fact that you have a lot of. Yeah, which it just gives players. you an average. Yeah. Um, the only thing that it directly affects, I think, would be the achievement the for, achievement. for yeah. the rating. Which, um, yeah. if you're at 89, your team is actually 90. I can understand why you'd be yeah. really frustrated about. Um, speaking of achievements, and some uh, ele- we're still looking at elements involving the achievements yes. so in terms of their functionality. Uh, but improvements are being made daily in, in that regard. Unfortunately, it's not. Again, it's one of these things that's not a fix that works for everybody. It seems mm-hmm. people are getting different um, different issues with that. Um, if and we've actually we've been getting quite a few messages saying, you know, I can't claim this uh, this um, achievement, and it's stuff that they've already claimed. Yeah. If if the logo is all colorized and it's not in black and white, um, that's one you've already claimed. So exactly. ones that were claimable every season, you now can't claim once you've claimed it yeah. once. Because there were some that reset themselves when and they shouldn't have done. Which was a bug. That was a bug. It was a bug that worked in your favor. Yeah. Um, and you've, you've, you've had this benefit for a few seasons now and it got fixed. All, all bugs go to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> or hell, one of the two. But they get they're they're disposed of and 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 brutally squashed. 
potentially in the future there, who knows, there may be even more achievements. Yeah, we're, possibly. We're, we're, we're looking into it <laughs> intensely with a microscope, a very powerful microscope made of gold, which doesn't work very well as a microscope material. <laughs> Normally you need glass and things like that. We need a new microscope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time for questions. <laughs> questions. We do have questions from you guys. We've received quite some questions. Indeed. So what's the question? Dibizal or D. D. Bizal. I know. Dibizal. You. It's Dibizal. He said how to pronounce his name. Yeah, well, I forgot. Uh, it's Steve, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do boots really make a significant difference in player performances? I really think they do. Yes, because, they, yes, they do. Because I really notice a difference when I put players uh, when I put players on boots. <laughs> <laughs> when I put boots on a player. Yeah, that, that's that's what well, the new changes going forward is that we're just, we're just going to give you eleven pairs of boots. And you can fill them. And you can fill players. them with players. <laughs> They, no, they do. they do. They do make a difference. Uh, ultimately, when a player is going against a player, it's stats versus stats, and the boots are a stat booster. Mm -hmm. So those do give you a definite advantage. If you had a team which has 11 players with boots on versus a team that has no boots on at all, that team will, a, clearly will have an advantage in a head-to-head in -head situation of a yeah. player versus a player. So... They, they do make a, a massive difference and, and they increase the amount of chances you'll get and the accuracy and, and all manner of things and whether or not they'll get away and yeah. whether a pass, whether it's technical, whether or not a pass will get from a player to another player. So yeah, there, there, there really is a difference there. And I, I refer you back actually to my season where I forgot boots at the start <laughs> of the season. Right. I, I simply forgot. And... I suddenly found out, oh, I'm not doing very well, and uh, I normally do. Oh, wait, I haven't put any boots on. Put boots on, everything's okay, and, okay, and I'm back to sort of the level that I was beforehand. Yeah. So there, there very clearly is. Uh, then he also asks, how do, how do we decide which boots to put on players? Because he says, for example, if a player has like 10 on technique, mm. would we then prefer to, for example, if he's in a technique and speed position, to have boots that are more speed oriented mm. or if we're going to go full technique and have him at like 10.9 technique and some speed mm. if I have a player who is um, technically gifted so a, technically, a technical midfielder who in my formation is on a technical position mm -hmm. so he's optimised in that sense and he has a 9 or a 10 uh, I would try and give him uh, tactical well, tactical technique boots well, I keep saying tactical <laughs> uh, if he was on that position I would try and give him technique heavy boots Yeah. especially if they're a key player as well yeah, um, yeah. If, if that's one of the players that's got the most influence and it's all about speed then let's give them as much speed as they can so they can be as most influential as possible if it's uh, if it's a speed power position, I'll go. I'll assume that its speed is the more heavy of the two because it's because speed is mentioned first. So I'll I'll try and gain get one that's a nice balance between speed and power. Yeah. If it's a, one of my substitutes, let's say, I will try who because obviously my subs are more sort of general and trying to cover various positions. I'll try and give a more balanced boot across across all three. But if they're at a very high level of, say, speed, and they're in a s speed position, but it's not key, I may decide to give them not just an all-speed boot, but one which has which is more speed, but increases whichever stat they're weakest on. Mm -hmm. Because those stats will still come into play in the game. Mm -hmm. In a in a player versus versus another player situation, yeah. so it reduces the chance of them being critically weak against the, the opponent they're playing against, yeah. and just being you know, just run rings round. At least that's what that's how I do it. 
I don't know if that's how you do it. That's kind of how I do it as well. There's only one like exception that I have sometimes. For instance, if I have like a, a technique and speed position and a player that I have is very good in technique but right. not so much in speed, I would like for instance if if he has like nine technique or ten technique but only like seven or eight speed, I would probably give him more speed boots but with technique as well. Mm. Uh just so I can compensate for his yeah. lack of speed because he already has good technique. Also if I, if you've got a, if you've got a pair of boots from a reward or something and they're not ideal you can still use them on the player. Yeah, I mean, do you know, still, you still give them a boost of some description. I mean, somebody commented to me the other day, so I've got a pair of boots, but they're rubbish. I'm not going to use them. Why? Yeah. yeah, if they'll still help out. You must have a player who doesn't have a pair of boots. You know, if you're not going to use them or never going to, just stick them on them for a season. Boots will only last you a season anyway, mm-hmm. if once they're active. Get the benefit out of them. Stick them on a sub. Stick them, stick them somewhere. <laughs> Uh, stick, stick him as a person who's on your bench as a chance of getting on the field. Yeah. Saves you a thousand coins. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, make, make the most of it. Uh, he's also asking when the age will be shown on transfers. Soon, we hope, um, with the graphical updates. It's, um, it's, it's down on the list of things to do. There's a lot of things to do at the moment <laughs> with, with the June 17th update, as I'm sure you can imagine. But uh, we've asked, and... Uh, I'll, I'll, they're working on it. They're working on it. They're, they're working on it the, they're, working they're, on. They are working on it at the moment. And, and there's several other things as well around that area that mm-hmm. we've, we've, uh, we've passed on. Some UI updates are coming soon. Mm. We're not sure if it'll be June 17th, but they're coming. Where are we from, and where is Konami headquarters? Is it the same as Yu-Gi-Oh! and in Germany? I don't know about Germany. No. Um, we're at um, the PESAF headquarters is not in Germany. No. I don't tell you that much. We're not in Germany. The main Konami headquarters in the, for Europe is in the UK. Yeah. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! No idea. <laughs> But this, but the studio that is that has made PS Association Football, the Facebook game, is in Japan. Mm. Yes, it's it's it's, the, it's run by the Japanese team. Yeah. But we're not gonna tell you where we're no. located. Find out. Yeah. <laughs> Kawhi wants to know why team rating doesn't correspond to young players improving. Well, it's a bug. We've already com- we've yeah. already uh, it's exactly. been, it's, that's being looked into. Exactly. And the young player improvements actually have an effect, or is it a useless increase? Yes, it does have an effect. It does have an effect because, because of that. Stats, yeah, at that point, stats. at that point in time, your your stats are that level. So, mm-hmm. I think that he might be referring to the fact that uh, sometimes when young players improve, they, for instance, don't show how they've been improved. Like we had Yusuf's case. Yes, uh, this was a bug that we've we determined. This morning, yeah, actually, actually, from our time, from our time period, um, yeah, there was there's instances where a player's average overall rating will improve, but it's not clear that their actual numbers improved at all, and that was because for some reason players could improve their score beyond ten for a particular yeah. item, which wasn't supposed to be possible. No, uh, and of course, because it only goes up to ten unless you put a pair of boots on them. You don't see that improvement. There's nothing on the bar to show that it's improved. Mm-hmm. So there are players now floating around in the game with 11 speed. <laughs> and then 11 they put power. speed boots on them. And then there's like, like Speedy Gonzalez disappearing <laughs> off into the distance. And it's... Yeah, there's nothing really you can do about those, unfortunately. So if you have one of those players who have now got 11 speed, well done. Yeah. Um, it won't be doing that anymore when you do a renewal. Um, that's been stopped. Yeah. But uh, so that, that that was that was why that if you had a player like that, and I think a few players have noticed this now, it's like, hey, I had this player before, and now he's not gone up. That's why. Yeah. So he has gone up. You just can't see. You just can't see it on the bar. Mm-hmm. Um, Angus Cat just 
reports us that the PS and the Konami Cup don't show the knockout phase yet. Yeah, they never have done. No. And that's one of the things that's going to be coming in in terms of the graphical updates. People wanted... Uh, because it had the, because that has a specific group stage, Yeah. it doesn't show an actual a knockout grid you know, at, mm-hmm. at the table with, with everyone in. Um, yeah, that's going to change because people want one. So, yeah. so we're going to show it. Exactly. When will we update the player database and possibly formations based on real life events? People want to see Neymar in Barcelona. Yeah, it, it was it was great. Neymar signed for Barcelona, and within a couple of hours, people were saying, "Why haven't you updated the database yet?" <laughs> like, for goodness sake, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't ask us to update the database. Actually, we updated the database with Beckham, and about two days later, he announced he was retiring. Exactly, it's bad. So luck. it's bad luck, Barcelona fans. You don't want us to update it with with Neymar for your team. He'll get out injured for like two seasons or something like that. It's a, it's a curse. <laughs> it might so be. yeah, so perhaps you don't want us to do that. But we have no actual date on. It'll we'll... it'll happen. Yeah, I mean, it'll uh, happen. Um, it's, it's it'd be more of a major thing. I would expect us to do. Uh, I, I wouldn't expect us to do one before the start of next season, actually. Yeah, I don't think so. Let, let the transfer window play out, and then and, and then, then they'll do an update. update on the basis of that. Formations. Um, I think this is mainly due to the fact that people are saying that the AC Milan formation is different to the one in PES. Yeah. Uh, all I'm going to say about this, guys, is that PES 2013, the console game series in general, is different from this game, so you really shouldn't expect... Strange noises from the corner of the room where nothing actually is. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the ghost of Neymar. <laughs> He's come to get us. Um, ultimately, guys, formations will be different, and there'll be stats that will be different in the game between us and PES because a different game and a different situation. Mm-hmm. Angus Cat also wants to know if we're going to be doing a World Cup special. That would require us to have some sort of World Cup game, and yeah. and we don't. We might mention it when it's on. Yeah, but that's only next year. Yeah, so. it's a while off yet. <laughs> we still have plenty of time to do cool stuff. Um, he also requests us to sing a song. To sing a song. Yeah. Seriously. Okay. Um, well, well, no, but we have to sing a song. And number two, it has to be royalty free. <laughs> um, that may, that's a bit difficult. Um, I, I'll tell you, I'll perform a short extract from the menu music of Pro Evolution Soccer Association Football. Good, wasn't it? Very good. Just, just, yeah. just like, so just like, yeah, just like in the game. Yeah. Oh my God! How how did you do that with your mm. mouth? It, it impressive, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just just open, open wide and and music. Yeah, the music of the gods issues forth, isn't it? <laughs> Lola Milo wants to know if we're having a sale on gold transfers anytime soon. Uh, we just it, had to sale on on coins. We just had to sale on coins. I doubt there would be. I doubt there'd be a gold transfer sale often, if at all. Um, what you're more likely to see is more special packs down the line for specifics. Yeah. Specific nationalities and, and other things. Players who have been with us for, with, for a while know that we have special packs. We, yeah, we've had special packs before. But it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it has been a little while, but then again, there's been, there's been this thing and that thing in the way, and yeah, obviously exactly. we're working on this other stuff for the time being. Um, expect special packs back at some point. Yeah, definitely. Then the last question we have is another one from D. Bizarre. <sighs> right to the death, yes. <laughs> it's actually an interesting one. Mm. Um, apparently he had El Sharawi in his formation, and he increased because he aged. Um, however, he got plus one to the wrong, well, not, not the wrong uh, statistic, but he got plus one to power, which meant that he was useless in his current formation. I wouldn't say he was useless, because he was, he was clearly okay there before, because yeah. he had him there. Yeah, exactly. And then it's just that happened that he's got, that the player's got more, more power, more, more power than previously. The off-season. 
So he's still as good as he as as he was in that position. But he might be better. But he's better and he's better in other uh, in other ways. Yeah. Um, well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because I mean, it's, it's a good it's a good point to raise for discussion because down the line, as players develop, sometimes they do change positions. Yeah. It um, wouldn't be the first time. I mean, we 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 all know of instances where the attackers become defenders down the line. They just they swap over and then vice versa. There's goalkeepers who suddenly become they become good sort of midfield players and, yeah. and, and what have you. So there's so it can happen and yeah, he he may be that player now is he could be better for you in another position. It's something mm. to check when uh, when you have a contract renewal and your player your player increases as a result. But yeah, it, it, it's not within the realms of impossibility that a, no. pl- a, a position switch could change. Exactly. Um, at the at the same time, you know, ultimately that player is as good in that position as they were previously, and are better in a head-to-head against a, a player of the uh, instance of the the um, statistic that's been increased. So, mm-hmm. yes, yeah, so they're not they're not useless in any way. No, no, no. Uh, there's no. Oh, uh, I've, I've, I should have just read the rest. Of, just a bit more of the questions. Is, that, uh, is there anything that could be done specifically to increase their stats? Well, boots obviously would be. Yeah. Would be um, ideal first of all. Um, there's nothing that allows you to target specific increases yet, but who knows? There could be in the Maybe future. In the future. Yeah. Could be in the future. You get something that I don't know. You get an attacking coach who, or um, a playmaker coach or something who specialises in passing and therefore increases your, your um, technical ability. Um, but, yeah. I think that's it. The fitness coach for speed. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. That's all the questions we have and all the time we have for today as well. Yeah. I would like to thank every community member for sending in their questions. We appreciate them, and we try to answer them to the best of our ability. And all of you who engaged with us on the Facebook pages uh, when we were asking the questions about uh, the historical players and what you thought about the season, and uh, it was great. It was great to see uh, all of your comments. Yeah. And now we can look forward to June 17th when Mm. everything changes. Everything changes. Season 10. Season 10. It's been a decade, guys. Can you believe it? A a decade. decade, yeah. Wow, we've been going and gigs for a still long time. playing. Yeah, <laughs> better than ever. Better than ever, amazing. <laughs> Guy will never stop. All right. nope. uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks for the next podcast. But for now, from myself, Kevin, and from Nacho. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. See ya. See ya.